Hello, my name is Tridar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Roman style fountain in Minecraft. Let's get started. So as you can see here, I have two designs of a Roman fountain. Uh, the only difference between these designs is uh, one features an arch and the other one just has the roof sitting on straight lentils on the top of the columns. I'll be showing you how to build both in case you have a preference. Maybe you like the, the shorter one for your needs or you like the more ornate one with the arch here. Of course, they both have the same fountain here in the middle, providing plenty of water for you. If you want to uh, upgrade your base with something a little bit nicer than the standard infinite water pool, you can uh, use this for your water supply here. And of course, they have a, a nice little decorative roof on the top as well. So the materials list, as you would expect for a small structure, is a uh, Pretty easy. You'll be needing 119 blocks of diorite. This is going to be for this version of the fountain. Uh, the smaller one will require, obviously, uh, less blocks. Uh, but you also need uh, 254 blocks of cobble, some water, 37 cobble slabs, 12 deep slate tile slabs, 24 cobblestone stairs, 20 stone bricks, 92 stone brick stairs, and 22 blocks of red Another brick for the roof at the top. All right, let's begin the tutorial. So the dimensions for the fountain are as follows. For the large one, it is 9 by 9 by 23. And I think the small one is only, uh, what, four, four blocks shorter uh, than this one. Uh, so to begin with, you will want to make just a, a 9 by 9 square of cobblestone. Uh, like you see uh, down here, 9 by 9 square cobble. And on top of that, you want to put uh, this cobblestone pattern that you see here. You're just doing a simple uh, cross hatching with one block in the middle for the fountain, like so. For uh, the next block level up, you want to place uh, the uh, columns on the corners, like is done here with the stairs, and uh, one more block here in the middle for that. The next phase, we're building out our diorite uh, column drums. And if you want to, there are going to be six of these. So you can place a total of uh, six drums of diorite on top of each other, like, like so. And we will focus on the uh, fountain. So the design for the fountain is pretty simple. You are just doing upside down cobblestone stairs. Like that there. For the next phase, for the bowl of our fountain, uh, we want to have just some uh, half slabs done right there eight of those and uh, one block in the middle right there the next phase up from that one more block here for that and uh, then uh, once you have done that one block you can go ahead on the next phase and place your one block of water there and that will fill up your fountain of course you might want to uh, come down below here and add a few more buckets of water to get the uh, the full effect in case you do need this for an infinite pool and um, not just a decorative element. There we go. So you can have your water down there below. Uh, next phase, of course, you just want to place uh, two more blocks of diorite on both of these until you get to a total of six. And then you want to do some upside down stairs, four of those on each column. The next phase again, you want to do the same thing except with stone brick stairs, like you see here, to finish off our Corinthian capitals. Um, now, I'm going to continue on with the uh, tutorial for the large fountain, but at the end, we're going to double back, and I'm going to show you the uh, process for the smaller one. It is, it is just a little bit different underneath there. So here for our arches, we want to place four more blocks of diorite right here and then two more on top of that and then here for the corners we want to start curving them in two blocks in the middle for the arch here and just a couple of stairs right there for that on all the four sides for the next phase we're now connecting our arch here in the middle like so very small diorite arch well you know minecraft you have to use your imagination and pretend that uh, this is a very nice round roman arch and on the sides here, you want to place just a bit of cobble, some stone brick stairs, and of course the, the diorite in the middle. 
on the next phase, you want to place uh, just a rectangle, or, or rather a square of cobble, and then another square inside that of stone bricks. And uh, down inside here, we have uh, one stone brick down there, which we placed from the last phase. For that, on the outside, we want to edge out the diorite on the top here with the stone brick stairs like this on all the four faces of our fountain. On the next phase, uh, easy phase, you just want to have a square of diorite and then cobble and then diorite again. Of course, uh, that little bit of diorite is in the top of the fountain here. And of course, as we go, if you may want to place uh, more torches than I have here. You're building this in survival to uh, make sure things don't spawn on your fountain. The next phase up from that, very easily, you just, you just want to have a square, upside down stone brick stairs all the way around the top right there for the uh, cornice of the entablature. And uh, just straight cobble behind that. And then for our roof, for our roof tiles, we want to make this pattern here with uh, the red nether brick and the deep slate tiles, the diorite on the edges here, and then uh, back here in the middle as well. Although I think uh, this, this can probably be uh, cobble, or you can just leave that a little bit there hollow, I think. Since it's not going to be visible, on the next phase, you want to extend that up with the roof tiles like you see here. Fairly easy pattern to make. And the next phase from that, you want to just, uh, we're just doing details now with diorite and the cobblestone half slab on all the four corners. Next phase from that, two more blocks here, and then in the middle, one block here at the top. And uh, that will finish off this design of the fountain, the ornate arched one. But now let us uh, double back over here and take a quick look at what is going to be the uh, one without the arches, in case uh, you really prefer to have a shorter fountain, you can come in here and build this design. So the fountain is the exact same once you get up to this point here for the Corinthian capitals. You want to build it exactly the same uh, every time. You go off in this direction if you want the arched version. We will turn now here, though, if we want the shorter one. And on top of that, you just put a square of cobble, like you see here, and then a square of diorite like you see done here. We want to have it overhang in the uh, center just a little bit. And then just cover that with straight cobble right there and on top and of course to do all the way around upside down stone brick stairs. Big square of those on the next phase. Uh, this should look familiar. I believe the roof design is now exactly the same as it was over there for that version of the fountain. As you can see you're just placing your roof tiles and your diorite and your uh, ornamentations on top of that, like so. And uh, once you have done that, uh, this, this design of the fountain will be complete. So you can then uh, use this as an, a, a detail piece in your builds. Perhaps uh, you want to sprinkle a couple of fountains around your world, but you uh, don't need them as part of larger builds. You just want to have them maybe off in the landscape somewhere or as part of a uh, larger building complex for your base. Whatever you choose to use these for, I wanted to go ahead and uh, give these designs to you individually, just as a, a short and simple, uh, very survival friendly build right here. So that concludes the Roman Fountain tutorial. Remember the entire world of course is available for download in the video description for Java version in case you need to come here and take a look at these for yourself, but I think uh, these designs are very simple, so I, I doubt you will even need the world download for these. But I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.